Welcome back. Today I don't have too much of a plan. Um, the real goal is to get the new engine ready to swap into the junk stang. Um, what we have left to do, I got to uh, I got to take the transmission off, swap the clutch. Uh, I've already removed the headers. As you can see, they're pretty rough. Uh, the main goal there is to do some new paint, um, some just some high temp paint. I did look into coating them. That's just too expensive for my goals with this car. Um, once the engine is ready to go, I want to pull the car out, uh, you know, power wash the engine bay, clean it up a little bit. But the main reason is I need to clean up the mess that is under the car. Um, if you ever pulled an engine out, you would know it leaves a huge mess. No matter how much you, you, you prep and you drain fluids, there's always mess. There's always a mess. It, it always drips. It always leaks. It is what it is. I don't have too much daylight left today. I've only got a couple hours probably. So I don't know how much I'm going to get done today. Uh, I'm just going to go along with it and get as far as I can. I did run across one issue uh, with the new engine. Uh, the dipstick broke. I didn't realize it, but the, the, the original dipstick that was in it broke off um, and it's, it's not coming out. So I got to pull the pan to get the, the remaining bit of the dipstick out. Not looking forward to that. I was hoping I wouldn't have to pull the pan, but uh, it's probably a good idea anyway. Make sure everything looks good in there. Other than that, it just came to my attention that uh, I may not be talking enough about what I'm doing in these videos. Um, while re-watching the, the first two I did, I did notice uh, it's basically a bunch of sped up footage, uh, which I enjoy watching, but uh, maybe I, I, I don't explain what I'm doing enough. So I'm going to work on that in this video, maybe maybe do a little more, you know, how to uh, in a sense. Um, and we'll see how that goes. Either way, it's a good time. So hope you enjoy it. Uh, let's get busy. All right. I take the transmission off. Uh, there's bolts around the bell housing and the transmission. Uh, we're gonna zip those out. It should just kind of, I don't know how to explain it, it just kind of pops loose. Um, there will be some manhandling involved. Um, we'll, we'll get her done. Once you get all the bolts around the back of the bell housing, there are two bolts up underneath. Uh, there's one there. There's no light, you guys can't see anything, but uh, there's two bolts on this side of the transmission towards the front of the car. Um, those come, they're a little shorter. Uh, you gotta pop those out. I do have one bolt left in the back. I'm gonna pop that out last. Uh, and then we're gonna start the main handling process. Sometimes it'll be really hard to get out and you gotta use a breaker bar. I guess. Easy as that.
okay, feel free. Let me know. I don't have anything else. She looks pretty good. Splines look nice. Throw out bearing looks all right. Clutch is brand new. The guy I bought it from told me he replaced it. Thinking that was what was causing the tick. Obviously, that wasn't the issue. We are gonna reuse this clutch. Uh, the 99 to, I think, mid 2001. I'll use the uh, Windsor block. The Windsor block used an eight bolt crank uh, with a 10 and a half inch flywheel. Uh, after that, they went to the Romeo block, which used a six bolt crank with an 11 inch flywheel. So, the engine we're going to is out of the 08 Grand Marquis, which is a Romeo block. It has the six bolt uh, crank. So, I was able to pick up a 96 to 98 uh, Mustang GT flywheel, which is a 10 and a half inch flywheel that does fit the six bolt crank on the Romeo engines. Uh, so when we get ready to mate those back up, we'll uh, be installing that. Um, I'm actually pretty happy about this. This thing looks, uh, it definitely looks brand new. Um, I bet it don't have 500 miles on it, honestly. But I don't know. Anyway, let's keep rocking. All right, you can't see my face, but that's fine. Take the clutch off. Uh, you've, on this particular clutch, you've got some uh, Allen head bolts. Uh, you got one, two, three, four, five, six bolts. Uh, you zip those out uh, and the clutch is off. No big deal. Pops off the dowels in the uh, the flywheel. Or tries to. Ooh, yeah, looks brand new. There we go. It's out. All right, got the uh, old engine and transmission out of the way. And you can see that mess, it's it's quite large. But got that out of the way because the goal, like I said, is to get this car out, um, clean this engine bay all up, uh, and get that floor cleaned up. In the meantime, we're gonna be working on this engine here, getting it ready. Um, up under here, I'm trying to see if you can see it. Eh, you really can't. Anyway, this is the dipstick uh, hole and as you can see, the old dipstick had broken off in there and I didn't know it. So to get that out is uh, pulling the pan, which means I gotta replace the gasket, um, which like I said, maybe this is a good thing. Gives me a chance to really check out the bottom end, uh, see if there's any glaring issues. But anyway, pull the pan and uh, you can pretty much just kind of push that out from the uh, inside. All right, take the pan off, <laughs> straight forward. Zip these bolts out. Things are looking pretty clean. 
Um, don't see any glaring issues. That screen looks perfect. I don't see any any uh, plastic up in there. What a lot of times happens is, and I can't say if it's on these newer 4.6s or not, but the uh, plastic guides uh, for the timing chain in there have been known to snap, break, blah, blah, blah. They come down the pan, they clog up the uh, oil pickup, and you know what happens from there. It's uh, it's not a good thing. But um, anyway, what we're working on is uh, right here. It's that. Let's see if I can just pop that right out. Yeah, it's already up. Yeah. You can see where she snapped. But uh, anyway, we'll get the uh, old one put in and <laughs> won't be a problem. I don't know, normally I would uh, replace these gaskets since I'm in here anyway, but this one looks pretty good. I may reuse it. I don't know. I think I'm going to leave it there for now and keep working on some other things and uh, come back to this in a minute and see what I think at that time. But uh, all right, next thing, uh, because I don't know what to do about the pan, is going to be, my phone won't quit ringing, it's going to be these headers. I'm going to try to power wash those, clean up a little bit, spray them with some high temp paint. I didn't know if I wanted to use them or not, because um, like I said, I was thinking about going turbo, which means I don't need those. But uh, Let's be honest, I just want to get it back on the road, have some fun with it. So I am going to reuse these headers. We're going to paint them. I think we're going to paint them silver. I got some black too, but I think we go with silver. You can't really see them anyway, so what, you know, it's not really going to matter. But um, we'll be using uh, this stuff here. I've used it before. It's been pretty good. But um, Anyway, let's get busy on that. Before I go pressure wash things, I need to get the O2 sensors out because I'm going to paint them right after. So it just makes my job a little easier. Don't make fun of the big wrench, it was easiest to find. Three to five minutes for that stuff to work. I'm gonna get a fast break. That was quick. All right, after doing the headers, giving it some thought, I think I'm gonna reuse this existing OEM gasket. I mean, it's still in perfect shape. You can reuse them. Um, some people will argue that I should change them in here, and they're, you know, they're they're not wrong. Um, I just don't see the point right now. So it may come back to bite me, you know, in the future if I still have the car. But uh, for the sake of uh, this project, I'm here using it. There's no special way of putting it back on. You just um, line it up, zip the bolts right back in, and there is a torque spec, uh, but good and tight's good too. that'll do it for this episode didn't get a ton done but i didn't expect to kind of just cleaning up getting ready for the future episodes just to recap got the trans off of the old engine luckily didn't have any major issues with the new engine got the old dipstick out uh, after pulling the pan got the headers cleaned up all i've really got left before i am ready to stick it back in is i'm going to pull the car out clean the engine bay up um, I had hoped to do that today, it didn't happen. Didn't really think it would, but uh, regardless, I uh, got that left to do. Once we're done with that, I'll pull it back in, mate the transmission and the new engine together, and we're gonna try to put it together as one unit. Uh, a lot of guys say that that's extremely difficult. For me, I think it's a little easier. Personal preference, I guess. We'll be doing that. That'll probably take up a whole episode, but uh, 
stay tuned if uh, you liked it click the like button if you haven't subscribed please do um, like I said I love making these videos the more people that watch them the more reason I have to keep doing it so uh, until next time what's up dude you gonna help with the car maybe lick up some of the fluids on the ground that you shouldn't get into let's not do that